This is our last episode of three of Memorial Day weekend special. We have a great chance of hosting Shannon Book at a Cedar Park, Texas that's down the road from Austin. He's our first man of rock, but he has an incredible story. He's actually a Navy corpsman. He served two tours of combat, one of which being Fallujah. So not only the battles there, but he definitely had some battles at home. And he gets I think, extremely uh, ins inspirational story. And we want to thank him so much for sharing it with us. You definitely want to follow him and his music. He has an, and not only that, music helping him uh, just with those demons. So we want to appreciate him and tell him how much we want to thank him for sharing his story with us. But we also want to thank the two other gentlemen, Zach Benino and Chuck Weimer, for joining us this weekend. But we also want to thank you for watching. Thank you so much and joining us with Bandwagon TV. Supper in a beat up bar. And his love rides the truck, stops home. Alright, we got Shannon Book all the way. When I say all the way, I mean down the road, Cedar Park, outside of Austin, Texas. Sir, how you doing today? Thank you so much for joining us with Bandwagon TV. Dude, I'm I'm stoked to be here. Thanks for having me, man. I'm having I'm having a great day. You know what? It's it's a, it's a beautiful day. It's I think it's gonna rain here later. So we'll see if that happens. They keep saying that, but it's no storm will prevent us from getting an interview in the White Lightning, the interview, the Joyride interview in the White Lightning with you, sir. I want to one thank you so much for joining us. This is one of our three episodes we're doing for Memorial Day special. It's our third annual. We love doing these. We love talking to veterans. We love talking to active duty. But before we get in, I want everybody to know a little bit about who you are, sir. So if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, and your musical background. My name is Shannon Book. I'm a singer, songwriter, uh, and frontman for a band called Deliberately Broken. I'm originally from a little town called Hazel Patch, Kentucky. If you're looking for a place that's noticeable, it'd be London, Kentucky. Like I, I just play music, man. I like making music. I like, uh, I like, I, I, I just enjoy music. You're from a small town in Kentucky. Are you from a musical background in terms of your family? Yeah, you know, I, I could say. I mean, there's. It's funny that you asked that question. I have some family who are very music, very musical. Um, the rest of them could almost barely play a radio. But my uncle Chris and and both of his boys were extremely musical. Uh, my aunt Tammy uh, is a is a bit of a pianist, you know. And so so there's there's musical backgrounds in there. I think I was probably more more inspired to be a musician by my uncle and and his two boys. Um but yeah. Was living in a small town was music important to you then? I mean that it is now. Again, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, Kentucky, so bluegrass was always a thing. It didn't matter. Like you were it, it, it didn't matter where you were in the holler as we call them. Somebody had a flat top guitar or what what you'd call an acoustic, we call them flat tops. Somebody had a flat top guitar and they were sitting on the porch picking. So music was always around and it was always very important. I'm I'm so glad we're going to talk about your music here in a second and honestly what you do now with your music and your lyrics and how you're helping others. I want to segue into it being our Memorial Day special, your military background. I know you're part of the part of the, the Navy the Navy Corps, but also you've done two tours. So I want to talk a little bit about that and what Memorial Day means to you, sir. Memorial Day is a, is a rough day for a lot of people like me. Uh, so I was a Navy corpsman that I did 17 years and I spent most of that time with the Marines. And what a Navy corpsman does is we're basically the Marine Corps medical technicians. Uh, we do combat trauma medicine and sick call. And when I say sick call, I mean basically like general medicine stuff, you know, stuff like, oh, doc, I've got a snotty nose and, you know, I've got a fever and, you know, um, you know, basic general medicine stuff. And, you know, so we take care, we take care of the Marines when we're out on deployments. We, you know, and we always take care of them when we're in, in, in combat and or training scenarios, uh, when it comes to severe like trauma and, and damage. So that's what we did. That's what I did. Um, I did two tours of combat I've done several, I've done, I've done plenty of deployments, but I've did, two, I did two tours of combat, uh, with the Marine Corps. My first and my first battle, my, my first tour of combat was in 
on Azaria uh, during the invasion of Iraq in 2003. And my second tour was shortly to follow in 2004 in Fallujah, Iraq. So I spent I spent most of 2003 and 2004 of my career in Iraq. And then, you know, I came back and I was an instructor and yeah, there was all kinds of things going on with me when I came home. Um, I don't know, like, I, I don't think I ever really left Fallujah because uh, I pretty much brought it home to work uh, because I was training people how to do combat trauma medicine. And and in that, there was a lot of personal damage. Um, combat's not pretty, regardless of who you are uh, or where, what you were trained to do. Uh, there's nothing glamorous, glorious, or like fascinating or fantasy-wise about combat. Combat's really ugly and really brutal and really dark. So it creates what 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 has been coined as a soul soulful injury. Um, so it, it creates a lot of damage. And, and coming back, that was something I had to live with. Plus, I continued to dig it up for four more years as an instructor. And I just never really left. Created a lot of drama in my life, my family. Uh, I lost my career at 17 years because of it. Alcohol became a big thing. And then once I was medically separated, lost a family, lost a house. Lost, I mean, I lost, I lost me. And pretty much the only thing that really saved me out of all of that was music. music Music was pretty much my, my, well, I can't say music was my only saving grace because there by the grace of God go I, but music was something that was a gift that, that God gave me to utilize. And I think that... Uh, from that point to now, it, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of getting to know God and getting to know Jesus Christ for sure in my in my life and lots of stumbling and lots of no, I'm not doing that or that, like go to church. Why would I do that? That's stupid. It'll burn down. But um, you know, over over all of that, God gave me a, a, a an awesome gift to help me pull myself out of a dark hole, uh, reconnect with Him, and then eventually connect with other people like me to help them. So that's Memorial Day to me. I've lost a lot of people in combat, but I've lost more. I literally have lost more to com more, more to suicide than I have to combat, and that's sad. Volusia was probably, I think, one of the darkest days uh, for everyone that was a part of that, and uh, I really appreciate you sharing that. I think it's a lot of things that we don't, in terms of the media, uh, pop culture, you, we don't talk, we talk about maybe then and there, but we don't talk about the after effects. Um, you know, I, I, I've mentioned this before, I lived in Colorado Springs for a little while and in Fort Carson, you'd almost hear it was a daily thing and it was happening hourly uh, with the suicide and suicide prevention was a huge thing, um, a discussion topic there. And the and, crazy part about Fort Carson is it's so beautiful, man. It's yeah. such a beautiful place, right? You know, Pikes Peak, all that stuff. You just, it's just pretty, but it doesn't change the trauma that things happen in combat. What you saw and the things then that are going on inner, you know, in, in your head and in your body. And, um, and so I, I just, that's, I think you, you said perfectly in terms of what saved you was music. And this is a music sh show and I don't want to be too somber, but we are thankful for all those heroes that died in combat, but also that came back. Uh, that we're just never the same. And um, we thank God every day that, uh, you know, I'm living here in America with the freedoms that I have, but I wanted to talk about your musical background. And, and so now not only you, you, it helped you, but I'm getting the sense too, that you're able to help others with your music. I mean, you know, so it's, it's, my music is always going to be my therapy. Um, but you know, when I put, there's a, there are a few things that I put out into the world that, that I just want most of my music when I release it, I just want people to understand that they're not suffering alone, if that makes sense. Um, and, you know, it, it, one of the things that I, one of the songs, I don't necessarily want to like plug everything, but like one of the songs that I've written was called not alone. And I released it in 2018. And that day when I released it, I promised every dime that's ever made from that will go to an organization of my choosing once it once I accrues a good amount of money, that money will go to an organization of my choosing that actively and effectively fights suicide. And that will be the till that will be in my will till the day I die. Yeah, so that's 
th- I, that's just kind of who I am. You know, the song that we're going to play today, Dear Mom, I like, <clears throat> I just want gold star mothers or gold star family members or just people who are suffering from loss. Everything's going to be okay. One of the songs I wanted to talk about because it is absolutely, it's, it's a beautiful song and I'm glad that you brought it up already. Um, you know, I just, Shannon, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, I know that this is can be, we try to make things fun, but when we talk about serious topics like that and for you to open up like this, um, it goes a long way and we really appreciate it, especially if anybody is watching. Um, you know, there there are people to talk to and, and, and people to, to really, um, to help you. And um, and so we'll, we'll get into that here in a minute uh, and definitely some charities that we're going to be posting here with and hotlines and and people to talk to on Bandwagon TV, but just for you to open up and personally, that I'm sure if, if somebody were to, to contact you, whether it's a direct message or personal messages or emails, I'm sure you're you're definitely open for discussion. Oh, absolutely. Or I'll, at least I will left, at least point you in the right direction, I for sure. Well, Shannon, thank you so much, my man, um, for the things that you've seen, but the things that you've done and, uh, and, and the abilities for us to say, hey, thank you. And, and for all the men and women out there that gave their lives for us and for our country. Well, I appreciate that, man. And uh, no, I didn't want to necessarily make it a somber day either, but this is this is a Memorial Day episode, so we had to talk about that. Next time, maybe you, maybe you can have me on and we can have a party. <laughs> well, hold on. We're going to get into the party. The lightning round is always the party. But, Sweet. you know, I just, I think some people, that it's just, you know, people will barbecue, they'll have the day off and never really think about it. That's okay. It's it, that's, that's why we did what we've done. And, and to be honest with you, you know, not everybody's a toxic person and we don't necessarily listen. If you don't understand, it's OK. We yeah. did what we did so you could do whatever you do. If you want to if you want to barbecue on Memorial Day, do it, man. Do it. We're in America. This is America. Just remember that you're in America. That's all I care about. Absolutely. Well, hey, on that point, let's uh, let's get into it. All right, let's get into the lightning round. We got to pull over the white lightning, Shannon book. We got to see what you're all about. Uh, but before we do that, before we pull over the white lightning, actually, while we're pulling over the white lightning, we like to talk about local businesses. We love plugging local businesses. So, uh, sir, do you have a local business that you want to promote with us today? I don't necessarily have a local business, but I do have a veteran-owned business that I really Perfect. want to plug because you know he takes a, he takes really good care of putting my, you know, my information out of there. And Kevin Gorin is, uh, is the owner and co-founder of a business called dot good beard, dot good beard dot com. And their slogan is remember, man, it's all about the beard, you know, beard products and all that good stuff. And, and they're just awesome. He's just an awesome guy. So he's a Marine, uh, you know, just a brother of mine. So thank you for letting me plug his organization. I will. I will. And so we're going to plug it right now. Uh, you know, we're, we're plugging a, a, a beard hair lotion as well. Veteran owned. They're two brothers. They were at Camp Pendleton. Uh, I think one of the brothers, Mike or Alan, one day needed some hair product. I guess they were going out, you know, and they didn't, they didn't have any of that stuff. So they created their own. It's Lombard Men, and you can find them at www.lombardmen.com. They're also on social media. It's at Lombard Hair Lotion. But you can't tell, Shannon. I'm, uh, I've, I've had to regrow the beard. It's coming in nicely. I'm sure just like your product, my beard is starting to feel good, full. It's coming in nice. Stand down an oak oak board. Yeah, I got you. Exactly. Not, no, no, not sandpaper. So, you know, I appreciate the Bauman Brothers for taking care of us at Bandwagon TV. So definitely go check them out. And also check out... Dot good, doc, goodbeard.com. So there you go. There's two businesses that are veteran owned. And, uh, you know, they all need, everyone needs your support. So definitely go check them out. Uh, I'm going to ask you, what was your favorite MRE that's meals ready to eat? I would say my favorite meal ready to eat. Cause I'm from, I'm from the old school where we only had 12 at first. And then there was like 50,000 of them. Um, I think that my favorite of all time is still pork chow mein, man. <laughs> pork chow mein? Yeah. I didn't even know that one existed. It's older than probably you are. <laughs> I know it's older than me, and I think I'm older than you, so. Tell us the process. Okay, you got pork chow mein in this brown pouch, right? What, what, what goes into this before you put this delicious food 
into your mouth? <laughs> it just depends on how long it's been since you've eaten. So, <laughs> I mean, if, if it's been a real long, hard day, like, you know, there's not really a lot. You rip open the bag you, or you cut open the bag. Try not to stab yourself in the thigh because some people may or may not have done that a few times. Cut open the bag, do your thing, get everything ready and just pour it out onto the ground and open the food like and just start shoveling it in your face. But, you know, if you want the more the more convenient and el eloquent process, then there's the, there's the heater, some water, stand, you put it up against a rock and blah, blah, blah. There's a whole process. But for most of us grunts, we just shove it in our face and we really don't care because we don't care about time. Were you getting Skittles then too? I mean, I know Skittles. Oh, I can't listen. I can't stand <laughs> Skittles for that reason. <laughs> I hate Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> so we haven't explained this yet. Shannon Book is our first gentleman from the rock genre, right? He's rock music all the way. I write country. It's all about telling a story. But I wanted to ask you this, all right? These are two men that were from the rock. But I need to ask, you got Aaron Lewis from Stained or you got Kid Rock. Who are you going with? That's some serious, that's some serious clout in my world. So Aaron Lewis, so Stained, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. Stained may or may not have kept me alive in Fallujah. Like I listened to Break the Cycle religiously. That was the only CD I could keep in one piece. And I listened to Break the Cycle over and over and over and over and over. And that's probably where I started developing my own, I don't know, my own stuff from listening to Aaron. And that dude is a beast. But then you've got Kid Rock. And I've talked to Kid Rock. He probably doesn't remember this. You know, I was in John Daly's bus at a golf tournament. And that dude is just cool. Like, he's just down to earth. I, I'm going to go with Aaron. You know, his music that he's coming out with now is, is great. And, and I, I love his message as well. But... Uh, like you said, you, it's, that's uh, both of those men, huge cloud clouds. Both of them are both of them are um, are multi genre. They're yep. just the, it's they're just icons. They're musical icons and they're Americans. They're patriots. This is our favorite part. Our favorite question. Need to ask you, Shannon. You've hopped in now. You're the you're the, you're driving. You're in the driver's seat of the White Lightning. You're going coast to coast. You need a co-pilot for this trip. Musician, dead or alive, who do you got? Wow, that's going to be Stevie Ray Vaughan. What? So, okay. And then this is like this new question that I really like asking, right? Because we would just kind of move on. But now I really like to know Stevie Ray Vaughan, the great, is the goat, I should say. He's hopping yeah. in, right? Are you playing one of your songs? Are you playing one of his? I, I would probably play something that I've done in hopes that he would pick it up and, 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 and turn it into lightning. Wouldn't that be cool, that man? Probably do. And how many how many moments that you'd catch some lightning in a bottle in that situation? Like, it's insane. Well, hey, Shannon, you did great. We love those answers. We love just genuine, just authenticity. It goes a long way. But now this is on you, sir. We want to know a little more about you, your music. You had some things come out last year. If you don't mind, just tell us a little bit about what's going on now in 2002, what you have coming up. So I've got, I started a new band called Deliberately Broken. We're kind of greasing the, greasing the axles and putting the tires on and trying to get everything dialed in, um, looking for a bass player. So if you know one plug we're gonna start doing some touring we're gonna we're gonna start writing some music me personally i'm working on some stuff that uh is really near and dear to me uh, a song that i called call little things it's about my kids i'll probably put out and it'll probably be pretty raw mostly acoustic deliberately broken is playing we're playing at joker's eye house ice house right down the street from you um in july you know i've got a show in minnesota cool man well i know that we got connected too with sailor jerry she was one of our actually uh original memorial Day. i love that girl man she's awesome <laughs> so, i know so i just really want to give her a shout out too since you mentioned the great state the great lake state of minnesota she's but, an uh, epic she's an epic person man she's funny too got a great personality and she does a lot for uh, just veterans in general. And she's here in Texas all the time. All right, so we're going to keep everyone posted with those dates, especially if at the Ice House, if that is in Ju on July 4th or if it's another date. We're going to keep our audience up to date with that. But how do we find you? How do we listen to you? Every every social network, uh, you know, you can find me, whether it's Shannon Book Music on Instagram, Shannon Book Music on Facebook, S 
S book music on Twitter. Blah, like I'm on Gitter. I'm on like you name it. I'm on it. So just look for my name. And, you know, my music is, you know, Apple, Amazon, uh, Spotify, YouTube, you know, most of that stuff, you can find it wherever you get your digital music, man. I'm going to keep an eye out for you for what's coming up. You and also your new band and you need a bass player. So anybody that knows a bass player, give Shannon a shout. Sir, thank you so much for sharing. You know, it goes a long way. We love hearing from people like you. I think it's really important. The message, the message that you have, you know, we all appreciate that. So thank you, sir, very much. Well, I appreciate you, man. Totally. Well, Shannon, unfortunately, I got to get home for lunch. It is uh, just right up the road, so I'm just really going to let you off. Uh, you going to dump me on the curb? Yeah, if you don't mind. I mean, Not at I, all, brother. Not at all. It's like the music world is. Sometimes you just get dumped <laughs> on a curb, man. Hey, I'm going to use you and abuse you, sir, so... Take a hike. We need a song, all right? So you got a couple great songs, but what song are you playing for us today? Uh, we're gonna play Dear Mom for you. It's a little right. slowed down. Once I do it at a cute, when I when I do it acoustic, it's a little more personal and a little more mellow. So don't hate me, but uh, we're gonna play Dear Mom for you. Definitely not. Go ahead whenever you're ready. This is Dear Mom.
There you go, there's Shannon booked his acoustic version of Dear Mom. I want everyone to check out his website. The, the, you know, in terms of just music in general, I think it's, uh, it's soothing but uh, healing as well. Um, and it does a lot for the mind. And uh, you say some really important words, those lyrics are, like I said before, are beautiful. I want also everyone to check out his song, Not Alone. Uh, go check him out on YouTube, go subscribe, and, and follow along. You got some great things coming up this year, sir, and, and we're looking forward to your journey, the rest of 22, and, and really years to come. Well, I appreciate you having me on nick it was awesome well thank you so much and, and hopefully we get to see you uh maybe next month uh, in july uh you and you got a bass player that's gonna be just slapping bass just all over the place slap the bass all right shannon hey have a great week and great weekend and memorial day to you and your family and we hopefully our paths will cross soon again absolutely brother thank you i want to take you home